All right, we are back, and I am going to start at the home screen, and I'm going to create a new part. This is tutorial five. So hopefully now, um, after each tutorial, you can be practicing your different skills that we've learned from that tutorial. And um, so now we're going to combine this, and we're going to make a different 3D part. So what I'm going to want you to do, and you can stop and go back to the other tutorials if you get stuck. We're gonna make a part from scratch. So we're gonna take our finger, we're gonna highlight the front plane, okay? You can go over here to the cube and click front plane. Another way you can do that, I believe, is you can hit two fingers on the screen and it brings up our little menu. And does it say, at the very bottom it says view normal too. So it's gonna go normal to whatever you selected. So we're gonna click that. And sure enough, it brings us looking directly on the front plane. So the first step now is we're gonna go up to our pencil. We can deselect the cube. Oopsie, front plane. Okay, we can go up to our pencil. Okay, and now we're in sketch mode. You can see at the bottom right, it says sketch. So we're gonna take a, we're gonna go and select our line tool, okay? and we're gonna make our construction lines. But I don't, just to make it easier, before we made our lines and then we turned them into dotted lines, but if we just go and right next to our line tool at the upper left, we can go ahead and select the tool next to it, which is the solid line to the dotted line. If we have both of those highlighted, then when you make a line, it's gonna make it a construction line, okay? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna to touch the screen and hold, and I'm gonna bring my little dot so it's down below the origin. I'm gonna bring it above the origin and make sure it's snapped into the right spot. There's my x-axis. I deselect the line tool because I wanna make a new line and I don't want it to be continuing on. I reselect it and the construction line. I go off to the left and I make another construction line. Give you a second to catch up. Okay, so you have your two construction lines. Now, what I wanna do is I want to make, I'm gonna make a candlestick. So I'm gonna go back up, I'm gonna deselect these two parts. Oopsie. I deselect the line. I'm gonna to go to my sketch tool, my pencil, and there's all these different things to choose from, okay? So I am, you can make yours whatever shape you want, but I'm gonna start with a line. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have it start on my y-axis. I'm gonna bring it out. And then I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Okay. And now I'm gonna go back to my sketch tools and I'm going to find a different tool. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a circle of some, a three point arc, second row. Um, second from the left. So I'm going to go and I'm going to touch that. And I'm going to do that and then play around with it. I'm going to make it look something like that. Now I'm going to go back up to my pencil and I'm going to select a line again. And oopsie. And I'm just gonna to try to finish this out where I'm making it look like that. And then I close, so here, sorry. You can see I have, everything is, the two, the upper and lower line are touching the y-axis. They're not going across it and everything is to the right. So I want you to make a sketch similar to that where everything is gonna be on one side of the y-axis. Okay, now if I go and I select my line tool, I notice that when I go and I can touch and hold and I can snap it so that's right on the dot at the end of that line, okay, because I want it to connect. And then I can go up and do it to the top. So I'm closing out my sketch so that there's no gaps. Once I closed out my sketch, it turned like a darker gray. I'm going to show you that again. So see how it was light? There's no... And then once I closed it, it's dark gray, okay? And notice the line I just put that's on the y-axis, it's black. 
because it knows where it is, but all the other lines are blue. They're not fully defined. I can move them around, okay? And when you do a sketch, you always wanna make sure that everything is fully defined. So now I'm gonna go up to the pencil and I'm gonna hit the dimension tool and I am going to dimension it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one of my um, vertical lines and I'm gonna select my construction, my y-axis line, and I'm gonna dimension that. I'm gonna say that's gonna be 1.3, maybe I'll do 1.5, okay? And then um, the next thing I'm gonna dimension, let's say I wanna dimension from the upper line, the horizontal on the upper line, to, I can do that all the way to the bottom. Now if I do that, and I tap a chat side, it's gonna ask me, I'm gonna say that's five inches. Now when I do that, it didn't turn anything, it didn't turn those lines black. And that's because now it knows how large it is relative from one line to the other, but it doesn't know where it's supposed to be located in space. So if I deselect my dimension tool, and I select like a point, if I, I can move it up and down, it doesn't know where it is in space, okay? So I need to do a second dimension to define where, where the upper and lower lines are in space. So I go back to my dimension tool. I can select the upper line or the lower line, doesn't matter which, and then I can select the X axis, tap outside, and then I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna make that 2.5. And once I do this, it makes both the upper and lower one black because now it knows, okay, oh, the upper line is two and a half inches from the axis and the bottom line is five inches from the upper line because now that the upper line is fixed, now we know where the bottom line is, okay? Now here we have a few more things to dimension because now our circle is still not dimensioned. So when you have a circle, there's different things you can do to dimension it. One, you can define how big the diameter is. You do that by selecting the, basically the outside of the circle, and you can define that. So I'm gonna make this two inches, but it's still blue. If I deselect the dimension tool, you can see that if I select the origin of that circle, excuse me, I can move it around. It doesn't know where that origin is. Okay, so one thing I can do is I can dimension it in the X and the Y direction. I can also, if I want it to be right on the X axis, I can just bring it down till it, see how it highlighted the X axis? I can snap it to the X axis. If I let go, now it's, our circle's still blue, but now it knows, the origin of the circle knows where it needs to be um, relative you know, in that one direction. So now we need to do one more dimension, go back to our dimension tool, and we can dimension the origin. So select the origin of our circle, see how it's highlighted? And then we can select our Y axis. We can select outside and we can tell it how far that origin is from the Y axis. So here, let's try 2.5. I'm worried that might make it too thin, but let's try it. Oh, not too bad. Okay, so now all my lines are fully, they're all black, it's fully defined, and that's a good place to be. Because then you know that you're not gonna mistakenly change it or make it a, um, a different size. So now that we have everything fully defined, now we can turn this into a solid. So that means we can go back up to our circle tool at the top next to the pencil. I select that. When I select that, I have a choice of extrude or revolve. This time we're gonna try the revolve button. So I'm gonna select the revolve button. Okay, notice that it highlighted my the sketch I just made because I had that sketch open. So it assumes that that's what I'm trying to revolve. So down here, it tells me the different things. It says at the top, select the axis to revolve around. So let's go through here. Solid, it's good. It says um, it's a new part. It already has one entity selected. And then you can see it's highlighted, that sketch that we just did. And under there where the orange is, it says no entity selected for the revolve axis. 
So if you highlight that box, then we can select the axis that we want to revolve it around. And we're gonna to wanna to revolve it around the Y axis. So I can take my finger and I can select the Y axis. And you can see that when I did that, it turned it into a 3D part. If I'm happy with it, I can click the check mark. And now you can see that we have, it looks like almost like a chess piece or something. Good job, you guys.